Well, we can forget about asteroid PJ because the celestial rock, the asteroid, or some people call it a small planet, Bennu is a, the collision course space rock that NASA is really worried about. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. AS, an asteroid the size of Big Ben, is set to whiz again past Earth. We've had a lot of asteroids whizzing past Earth lately. And the space agency NASA has its sights on something more significant, the major space rock which could some come crashing into Earth in the future. An asteroid 99 meters, that's about 300 feet diameter, will zoom by Earth in two days, August 16. It'll be traveling at a staggering 31,317 miles per hour. But while NASA is not worried about that space rock, which is known as asteroid PJ, the agency is concerned about the much larger relative of it, of this one. The NASA space rock found, sent back images of four potential sites on asteroid Bennu. It's a monster asteroid 500 meters, that's 1,500 feet across, which its Osiris Rex spacecraft has recently arrived to. And uh, the sites have been targeted for Osiris Rex to collect samples and return them to Earth by 2023. So it's there, it's collecting samples from four targets at least, and these things will be returned to Earth. And why do they have to come back? Because the scientists have to find out what kind of material it's made out of. Now, the space agency, however, is at Bennu for another reason. There are small fears that this asteroid could come crashing into Earth in a couple of centuries, which of course will be devastating. It could mean an extinction level event, an LA event. Uh, there's a movie, a Hollywood movie on that. I, I would uh, suggest you go and see it. It's very well made. Anyway, we have had a number of impact craters on Earth, not only on Earth, but also on the Moon, also on Mars. In uh, Australia alone, there is at least 50 that they have confirmed. Canada, a recent one on uh, Ulpul in, uh, th on the coast of uh, uh, Scotland. We have Manicougan in Canada, where you can see from uh, Google Earth. We have a couple of them that have been recently found, asteroid strikes in um, southwest Egypt, as well as Iraq. And uh, they were thought to have come down around 3000 BC. And eventually, uh, that caused the boiling of the atmosphere and changes in, in, in fact, in earthquakes and causing volcanic eruptions and uh, change in the weather and, of course, great famine and civil and economic unrest. It eventually brought down the uh, kingdom dynasties of Egypt. Now, we've had a number of these. One of them, 66 million years ago, was supposedly the cause of the dinosaur extinctions, the one that fell in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So the uh, NASA agency is at Bennu now for another reason, because of fears that it could come smashing into Earth in a couple of centuries. Experts say there is a 1 in 24,000 chance that this space rock could come crashing into our planet within the next 120 years. But this depends on the Yarkovsky effect. What is the Yarkovsky effect? The Yarkovsky effect is when an asteroid or some kind of a celestial body changes its orbit due to a small push of heat either from itself expelling gases so it would act like some kind of a, a, a fire extinguisher for example or other celestial bodies including the sun what effects it would have on the celestial body. Part of the reason NASA is sending the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft there is to get more information about the makeup of this rock. These samples will tell us what it's made of. Uh, if, unless they change composition on the way back, you never know. 
Now, NASA fears that the asteroid, which has the potential to wipe out a country or even the Earth, could hit our planet within the next 120 years, with the next close flyby in uh, the year 2135. The mission will give vital information on how to deflect asteroids from their collision course with Earth. But the NASA agency reiterates that while there is a small chance Earth could be impacted over millions of years if all of the planets Bennu is of all the planets Bennu is mo most likely to hit Venus, they said. For now though, NASA is focused on returning samples from Bennu, which are serious wrecks arrived at last December, December 2018, after a grueling journey of about a billion miles. Osiris-Rex has now completely mapped Bennu and has selected four potential sites which it could select the samples from. And the plan next is to whittle away at these sites down to two where it will collect samples from one, a one-inch area NASA was not prepared for just how rocky Bennu would be, so it is looking for an area where samples are fine enough for the machine to ingest. Because if they're too big, how is it going to take a sample? It won't be able to. If, as you can see from the uh, close-up image, it's pretty rocky. I mean, some of these look like boulders, so how could it pick this up? What can I tell you? Dante Loretta, Osiris Rex principal investigator at the University of Arizona in Tucson, said, We know that Bennu would surprise us. We knew that Bennu would surprise us, so we came prepared for whatever we might find. As with any mission of exploration, dealing with the unknown requires flexibility, resources, and ingenuity. The Osiris Rex team has demonstrated these essential traits for overcoming the unexpected throughout the Bennu encounter. Now, it's unfortunate that as the years go by, the budget for NASA keeps going less, it keeps decreasing. Um, as, a, as a percentage, for example, if you look at the percentage of the US federal, the NASA budget as a part of the federal budget, in the year about 1960, uh, the Kennedy years, it was at 4.4%, and uh, it has really rapidly increased since then, around 1970, and really definitely around, uh, up to now, it's down to 0.5% of the federal budget. So how can you defend Earth and uh, explore space and uh, do something that could save humanity with such a low budget? Not only that, but where are the other countries that will benefit from this? I would venture to say that everybody should put in something into the uh, to fill the bucket and uh, increase the budget as much as possible in order to protect Earth from these incoming objects. So now, that's another story though. Now concerning what Rich Burns, the Osiris Rec project manager at NASA's Goodard Space Flight Center, in Greenbelt, Maryland said, quote, although Sirius Rex was designed to collect a sample from an asteroid with a beach-like area, I mean, sandy beach, a few pebbles perhaps, the extraordinary in-flight performance to date demonstrates that we will be able to meet the challenge that the rugged surface of Bennu presents. That extraordinary performance encompasses not only the spacecraft and instruments, but also the team who continues to meet every challenge that Bennu throws at us, end quote. So by collecting these samples, NASA desires uh, to unlock the secrets of our solar system, as Bennu is a remnant of our galactic neighbors, neighborhood forma formation some 4.6 billion years ago. Okay, that's the least of our problems, knowing how the, uh, you know, our, our solar system formed. We just want to protect Earth right now, because this is coming at us in about 120 years. Now, Bashar Risk, instrument scientists, scientist for Osiris Rex, said, the story of this asteroid is the story of the solar system. When we understand Bennu, we will understand something fundamental about our solar system. Again, that's the least of our problems. The thing is to uh, find out what this thing is and try and nudge it out of the way so it doesn't at all 
um, put us into risk. That's another story. Okay, this is on Express UK, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.